All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota, and today the most important news, the most important event that has happened like one hour ago has been the official presentation of Antonio Rudiger as a new Real Madrid player. He's been talking about everything, how the signing was made, when, and all the stuff. And of course, he said something really important for Los Madridistas, and it's basically that he's coming to win pretty much everything. He said something um, also very interesting when he confirmed the interest from FC Barcelona and actually they have some contacts and they were talking about a little bit. They, they were talking about the signing, a possible signing a little bit, but finally it didn't happen because he only wanted to play for Los Madridistas. But before to get started with Antonio Rudiger, just let me give you a quick update on the news on the signings on the possible names that might become Real Madrid players. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk about um, Rainier because, as you know, he, he has been one of the most underrated players in Real Madrid and it's not only because he's been two years out of Spain trying to get a spot in Borussia Dortmund, uh, which has been, I mean, almost impossible. He couldn't play at all and now apparently his future is about to change, it's about to turn, and apparently the player will join Real Valladolid um, thanks to Ronaldo. I mean, Ronaldo Nazario and Valladolid are right now a very friendly clubs and player. Of course, Ronaldo has been very attached to Real Madrid and Florentino Perez, and apparently the, the, the former player wants to um, count on, on, on Rainier Jesus for the next season because he thinks he will be he will become the player he was supposed to become. I mean, when he first set foot in Spain, when he signed for Real Madrid, everybody was thinking about him in terms of another promising racing star, and it didn't happen because he went on loan to Borussia Dortmund, where he was supposed to become a better, a better player, trying to adapt to the European soccer and stuff like that, but it didn't happen because um, first it was uh, not Tuchel, but the other guy, Marco Rose, and, and, and the other guy that was coaching the Borussia Dortmund, I can't recall the name right now, but they didn't give him the opportunity to um, do anything in Borussia Dortmund, and he's been on the bench basically for two years in a row, that is pretty, I mean, that is obviously pretty bad for Real Madrid, and something has happened, and Ronaldo Nazario wants to really rescue the player and put him back on track, put him back on the top elite soccer, and that it's going to be in Spain, which is good news as well, because the more time you spend in Spain, the more chances for you to have um, the citizenship, right? The double citizenship that is good for Real Madrid, because as you know, it has been a big, a big problem, a big concern when it comes to signings. I mean, we have to. Uh, we have rejected to players like Darwin Nunez or even Gabriel Jesus just because we already had five non-European players in the squad. So that is going to be another good thing if he joins Real Valladolid in the next season. The next name I have to talk about is pretty much Nabri. Sergi Nabri is close to sign for Real Madrid, not because I'm saying this, but because Asensio is about to leave Real Madrid, it's super close, it is almost done deal with another Premier League player, apparently Liverpool is uh, right now the front runner in the race for Marco Asensio, and once he is out and Jovic is out as well, Real Madrid, in my opinion, will not hesitate to reach out Serge Gnabry and say, hey, do you want to join Real Madrid? With only one year contract left in Bayern de Munich, the chances for him to become a Real Madrid player go to the roof. I mean, only one year left and he doesn't even want to renew his contract with Bayern de Munich because he wants to try something new. Let me tell you what, it's a great player who plays in the right wing or who would play in, in, in the Real Madrid uh, right wing his score last season 14 goals in the Bundesliga, 17 total, and all those numbers are good enough for me to sign a player. I mean, it's an argument for him to become a Real Madrid player, because if you don't have any other right winger, because Marco Asensio left, because Gareth Bale retire or left or whatever it is, you have to have a player like Nabri. You want to have a player like Nabri 
in the as a target, right? So if Real Madrid goes ahead and sign the player, I will be super happy because he's another good player that might come to Real Madrid, super physical guy, and or who can uh, provide to Real Madrid with more power and strength and velocity and speed and things like that. So to me, that'd be awesome. And now let's get into the official presentation of Antonio Rudiger. As you know, he's been presented with Real Madrid as a new Real Madrid player. He will have the number 22 in the back. He said it is because he always, I mean, his favorite number was two. So now he has a double two, which is great because two right now is for Carvajal. And he said that he was not close to sign for FC Barcelona but he recognized that there were contacts between Barcelona and Real Madrid and Barcelona and himself and as you know we saw I mean a bunch of footage was leaked uh, like a couple months ago of his brother walking down the street in Barcelona so everybody knew the agent of the player was in Barcelona doing something and that something is he was trying to, I mean, he was listening to Barcelona, what they had to offer or what they have for him or something like that. But once he took over, once he took control over his future, he decided to come to Real Madrid because apparently he had a call from Carlo Ancelotti convincing him the best choice for him. It was to join Real Madrid. And of course, he said, I will utilize you. I mean, you're not coming right straight to the bench because you will have chances for playing in the starting eleven, which is great because to me it might happen to see in Real Madrid David Alaba inching towards the left, Antonio Rudiger in the center and Militao inching towards the right which means a defense of uh, a defense of three defenders instead of four defenders which I mean it's it's very assumable by Real Madrid and it's something very doable in terms of um, set along a good strategy and change it completely uh, facing the next season. So let's see what happens. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I'm really interested and curious about what Carlo Ancelotti has in mind. What is the plan with Antonio Rudiger? But of course, it might happen. And of course, he also said, with, I mean, 20 years old is a very good age in terms of um, soccer skills experience expertise and things like that so it's not all in at all in my opinion he's bringing a lot of like i said expertise to real madrid and of course in physical condition wise the most important thing he will provide with to real madrid is that is the power is the strength is the speed you know what i'm saying the guy is super fast and i have seen a bunch of videos of him I mean, carrying up the ball like crazy and passing over a ball, passing through the different defenders, completely frustrated because they are unable to stop him, right? So that is great because the, the guy can put the ball in, in seconds, can put the ball from your defense in the attack line super quick. So that's why it's very important to have these kind of players very tactical players, but at the same time, very physical players, because that is Real Madrid what has been lacking the most over the last years. Now the thing is changing a little bit, and with David Alaba, Militao, and uh, Camavinga, Fede Valverde is changing a little bit, but to me, Real Madrid still has to add up more players like this. So that is basically uh, what the presentation of Rudiger uh, was about. And of course, if there's something new uh, in terms of new players, signings or uh, transfers, departures or something like that, I will keep you posted, guys, for now. Let me know your thoughts about that. Just comment in the section below. And of course, subscribe to my channel, Ramadi Help.